What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It has been a minute since I've been vlogging guys and I apologize about that. I just really want to put a lot of effort into my YouTube channel and I feel like I feel like there just wasn't a lot of content to vlog. So today it's, it's Sunday afternoon and I don't feel like there's a lot of content to vlog but I'm going to make a vlog anyways. We're about to head to the gym. I'm going to show you guys a new gym that I just got a membership at. Guys being loud over there doesn't know that I'm talking to you guys. Um, but anyways, uh, we are going to head to the gym. I'm going to show you guys a new gym that I'm working out at. And um, it's one of the best gyms in the Dallas area. It's called Destination Dallas, so shout out to you guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check that out today. We're going to go get a great shoulder workout. We've got the Challenger. It's cleaned up. It's ready to go. It's a beautiful, hot August day here in Texas. And uh, so let's get on with it. Oh, and really quick, guys, if you can tell a difference in the sound, which I hope you can't, that's because I have a windscreen put on uh, the mic now, the shotgun mic. So if you guys want to know what this looks like, let's see if this actually works. So there is the camera. Where are we at? Oh. There's the camera. See that? You guys are watching the camera vlogging that is a windscreen here on the mic this furry thing that's sitting on top of the microphone that's what uh, helps keep the wind from making the microphone all muffled and uh, kind of has that weird sound to it so the windscreen is on the mic hope it helps if I'm outside and it's windy you guys should be able to hear me just fine it's gonna kind of block the wind so there's that if you guys have any um, suggestions on maybe a better shotgun mic or a different way to make the sound more clear when I'm outside, please let me know because this whole vlogging thing and the camera setup is uh, all new to me. So drop it in the comments below. guys so we are here at destination dallas this gym they just actually moved facilities they were like way over there on the other side of highway 75 they moved into this really big space they've got this entire space i believe all the way all the way to like right there so they've got from there all the way down to there a lot of room it goes way back there and uh, they've got all the ki all kinds of equipment, everything from powerlifting to CrossFit to it's mainly a bodybuilder's gym, but um, and they even have a warehouse in there for their apparel brands, Gasp and Better Body. So really, really cool gym there. Um, I was going to film today doing shoulders, but I know you guys have already seen kind of my Sunday shoulder routine. Uh, two vlogs ago, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. Um, but uh, I, I think I'm just gonna go in and work out today, not worry about filming. Um, I know I haven't filmed, put up any vlogs, like daily vlogs in, in a few weeks, but um, I think really I just wanna get in and get out today because it's already like five o'clock and I got a lot of work done today, but I just wanna go home, relax, and have an earlier night um, because I've been very, very busy lately. I mean, I've been working probably 10 to 14 hour days the last few weeks. Yesterday was a solid half a day at shape actually. And um, so today's kind of the first day and I still did like a few hours of work this afternoon. So I kind of just want to enjoy my workout, get in a good um, shoulder workout today and I will show you guys the gym maybe at a later date. So get in, get out within an hour, and get back home. So uh, I'm gonna leave you guys here, hang tight, and I will see you guys here in an hour. Uh, for me, it'll be an hour. For you guys, it'll be literally one second. 
That looks like a really bad storm right there, guys. Holy moly. They just made an announcement. I think there's a really bad tornado warning. Possible tornado. But the gym just told everybody to move their cars. Look at that, that is a hanging, that's a really low hanging cloud. And it's kind of swirling above me. That does not look good. Yeah, I'm parking over here on the side of the building. It does not look good. Look at all this debris. I'm gonna park right back in here. Took my car away. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm not kidding, guys. <laughs> I have never experienced that in my life. Look at that. I guess this is a good time to test out the windscreen. This looks bad. Look at that. All the way down right there. It looked really bad a minute ago. Look at all this debris in the air. All that trash. If I came out to the car, just parked my car here. Hopefully it's protected if something happens. I'm too far away from home right now. I'm trying to make it back to the house. Look how bad this is. Nice Porsche 911. guys so we did not get blown away by what looked like could have been a funnel cloud a bunch of other people were talking about it though and everybody I've never seen the gym clear out so fast where everybody grabs their keys and tries to repark their car the good thing is I think we had the best parking spot and anybody could have had because these these uh this roof is probably I don't know 30 feet high and this built this was probably 20 feet at least and we're kind of wedged in between a shipping container uh this big huge warehouse and then a loading dock here for the semi trucks so we definitely had the best spot we possibly could have had if something was blowing in from over there so i am going to head to the grocery store looks like it cleared up a little bit and uh so yeah guys i'm probably not going to turn the camera back on until i get home just because i gotta focus on driving um, unless I see something crazy like a tornado <laughs> or something else. So Anyways guys, I will see you back at the house safe and sound. All right guys So we made it home. We actually went to the grocery store and uh, got groceries And we're home. It is 830 I'm going to take a shower and relax just have an early night like I talked about earlier And I will see you guys tomorrow It is another day. I'm about to start my Start drinking my protein shake just got done with my fasted cardio by the way, little plug here, I'm not sponsored. This is not a paid product placement by First Form, but guys, you can get free shipping uh, through my app. Link is below. This is the best protein. Personally, uh, this is my wife's favorite protein. This is actually a really good protein for breakfast because it is caramel latte. You guys cannot go wrong. I mean, look how good that looks right there. That's how good it looks. It looks amazing. It tastes amazing. It tastes like a Starbucks drink. And then for men, I actually got to order more of these because I'm actually out, but uh, uh, M Factor for men, guys, link is below, really helps give all of you men the right balance of micronutrients to start your day. So link is below for that. Again, not paid product placement, but we are partnered with them in a way that you guys can get free shipping through the app below. 
and let's get this day started. You know what I don't understand is that there's so many people in the line here at Starbucks, but there's also a Starbucks right over here, right there, and there's never a line in here. The only difference is you have to get out of your car and walk maybe 30 feet to the door, but they can get you your coffee so much faster than waiting in line behind me at the other Starbucks. So let's just test this out. I see a white SUV pulling in behind me over there at that other Starbucks. We're gonna go in here and quickly grab a coffee. And I bet you we will be out before that SUV is done getting their coffee. I would just like a, uh, let's do a venti iced Americano with uh, some sweet and lows in there. And How many? Uh, let's do four, please. Yeah. Four. Thank you. All right, so we just got the Starbucks, and that white SUV is still in the drive through was out there. Alright guys, so the test came out to be true. I don't get it. Like people sit in the line at a at a restaurant or like a Starbucks especially because I go I go there often and they uh, they sit there and they'll sit there for like 15 minutes waiting on their drink when you can actually park, go in, grab your drink and get out in much faster time. It doesn't make any sense to me but people are lazy and they just don't think they like to follow the crowd, so don't follow the crowd. Um, on another note, one quick tip uh, for people that are in business is you guys should always be learning. If you don't want to live an average life, the best thing that I've ever decided to do or, or I, I heard someone say and I put in practice is to think about every single aspect of your day as like a balance sheet there's there's money and there's money out there's time in there's time out you don't want to waste money in business so you don't want to waste your time because time is money so if you're driving in the car a better way to use your time than listening to music or listening to random information on the radio news or whatever that's all usually false anyways is to learn educate yourself about a topic and become a master at that topic because if you become a master at the topic you can actually monetize your knowledge you can, you can pay or people will pay you to get your knowledge so as many of you guys know I own the company everything massive I own shape and um, so I'm always 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 learning every day I have a 20-minute drive to shape so sometimes I go there twice a day so that's four trips. So that's 60 minutes a day that I can sit there and learn. Not to mention going to the gym is another 20 minute drive. So that's there and back. So that is an hour and 40 minutes a day that I can learn. That's basically like sitting in one college class every single day. So like right now I'm listening to one of my favorite YouTubers and fitness gurus. Point to serve Isolize guys. Dave Palumbo. Let's go to the question. We have a lot. I listen to these to get to question and answer sessions, and it really helps me learn so that I can uh, put more knowledge out there to my clients, to you guys, helping you guys see the best results that you've always wanted. So, didn't mean to rant on there for a little bit, but I think it's important to share business tips and things like that on this channel. I'm not a multimillionaire yet. I'm not some ultra successful like Manny Koshpin status guy yet, but. Um, every little bit of knowledge counts. Supercar spotted. I just see an Acura 
NSX, I believe, right there as it goes up the ramp. I don't even know if you guys saw that. Really cool car. I'm actually seeing a lot more of them lately. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I have to check the price on them. I've seen, I've seen at least five or six of them in the last week all around where Shape Dallas is. And then there's a lot of money here, but uh, I, I've really never seen them that much before. It was like, I think I saw one at a car show like a year and a half ago. And then all of a sudden I've seen like five or six just randomly all in this area. Um, I don't know if the price is cheap right now. I don't know what's going on with them, but it's worth looking into. They're kind of cool cars. Still an Acura though. That's the only thing is that it's still has the Acura sign on it and it just doesn't really appeal to me when it says Acura. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys have any insight on why there's so many of them lately, maybe the price has dropped, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, so I did not plan ahead and uh, my phone right now is at 8% focus eight percent and I do not have a phone charger so that means I have to uh, go in here to Best Buy grab me a phone charger so that I won't my phone won't die and then I think I might also pick me up a new backpack uh, because uh, yeah this backpack it like I think I took it to school with me like in the eighth grade and uh, it's not a laptop backpack I can't put the drone in there I can't put this camera in there and I need to find something that I can take with me because we are going to Cancun in less than two weeks, like 10 days, and I need to have a backpack to carry on the airplane and just for everyday business life because I'm always in the car, I'm always driving, meeting with people, going to shape, and I need to bring all my stuff with me and I just can't do that um, with this backpack. It's just, it's not a good backpack for that reason. So we're gonna go into Best Buy. I'm gonna leave you guys in the car. I'll show you guys what we get when we get back. All right, so it took me a little longer than I planned, but we picked up the things. Got me a phone charger, which I'm about to plug in right now. Get my phone plugged in. Got a new backpack as well. Now this backpack is from Low Pro. You can hold my laptop, the camera, and the drone. And it was on sale today for 20 bucks off. So it's a good steal. Anyways, we're gonna head back to shape. Had a meeting with a customer and then get the car washed and back to the home office. Curls and reverse wrist curls and within So the car is now clean. Always love how it shines. How this pearl shines in the sunlight. So good. So now we are half back to the home office. And oh, we gotta drop a package off. Got an order in for a one of our new shaker bottles. Which if you guys have not checked those out yet, go check them out. Link is in the description. They keep your drink cold or hot, and they even tell you the temperature of the contents in the bottle, which is pretty cool. I bet your plastic shaker bottle doesn't do that. Just like that, some office work is done. It's been a few hours doing some work. It's time to get some pre-workout in and head to destination Dallas. All right, pre-workout time. Look how shiny. Those wheels are. Those wheels are super shiny. We have a new C8 Corvette spotted, brand new. Come on, Subaru, go so we can get up there. Okay. Get this new Corvette. All right. 
right guys, so this is the end of the vlog. It's been a good day. I'm glad that you guys got to come along with me for the last couple of days. Just kind of showing you guys what I've been up to lately. I know it's not been super exciting, but there will be more content coming in the future. Um, the car vlogs uh, have not been very eventful because there's not been a lot of car shows in the area. I mean, there's been a few here and there, and honestly, I've missed them because I've been at Shape working on Saturday mornings. But there is a lot of stuff coming up in the near future. We're actually taking a trip in a week from a week from this Friday. So at the end of this month, if, if you're watching currently, it's August um, 2020, and we're going to be taking a trip. I'm going to vlog the entire thing. and have some cool drone footage. We're going somewhere tropical. It's going to be cool. It's going to be eventful. I'm going to show you guys everything that we're doing. And uh, so that'll be interesting to take you guys along with me on the first travel vlog. Um, but yeah, guys, it's 8 o'clock. Just going to want some outside cardio. It's August. It's here in Texas. It is hot. And uh, the quick fitness tip, if you guys want to get some good cardio in, don't be afraid of the heat. The heat will actually help you. Put a hoodie on, go outside, sweat it out, be hardcore. Your core temperature will elevate and it will help you burn more calories, which will result in burning more body fat. Um, thermogenesis is, some people believe in it, some people don't. I truly believe that thermogenesis will help you increase the calories that you burn during cardio. So use that to your advantage when it's summer and it's hot outside. So anyways, guys, hope you're having a great morning, day or night wherever you are in the world, and we will see you next time.